Hello you amazing hackers, hope you're all doing well. So today we're going to talk a little bit about race conditions, how you can trigger them, and even that you can trigger them without having any programming knowledge at all. Yes, you heard that right, triggering a race condition without having programming knowledge. So let's get right into it, shall we? Now the first thing, of course, I want to give you guys is my setup. Uh, as you guys can see, I have the juice shop open again. I'll put the link in the description below as well so you guys can follow along. And I have my burp man in the middle proxy open. Now what I want to do is uh, first of all explain you guys what a race condition is. It happens when you have for example a limited resource. So let's say in this case when you have a product you can write a review for that product. You can submit your review and then you can like your review. But as you can see, I can only like my review one time after I, and I can also not repeat my request because I'm going to go to my repeater here. Let's see, to my history I mean, sorry. When I do my post for my review, as you can see, uh, let's send this to the repeater. And when we send it again, you can see that we get a 403 forbidden. So this was the post request to like my review. And if we do it again, we get a 403 forbidden. But what if I told you guys there is a way to like a reviews more than once? So that's what a race condition is. And basically allows you to use a limited resource more than one time. In this case, our limited resource is our like. So I can only give myself one like, or at least that's the intention. And we're going to trigger a race condition to give ourselves more than one like. Now to do this, all you have to do is open your proxy, open the intercept tab, and as you can see, a little bit of action is going on in the background when you open your HTTP history by checking out all of these socket calls. Now, if one of those calls comes to your intercept, just skip it. For now, I'm going to put my intercept on. I'm going to like my comment. And I was too slow because what I was supposed to do, of course, is put my intercept off again. Now, as you can see, I only got one like because I only clicked the like button once. Now I'm going to put my intercept on again and I'm going to click this like button as much as I can before this disappears, before my UI elements disappear. So I clicked it twice, I think. So let's see what happens when we leave our requests through. And as you can see, I got two likes on my review. This happens because the requests get handled at around the same time because they get sent at exactly the same time I release them at the exact same time I may not send them I may not click at the button at the exact same time but because my intercept is on my requests are being gathered at my intercept point and if I release them all at once they are being sent at exactly the same time so when they arrive at the server they get processed at the same time and the server is going to check am I allowed to do this and the server is going to see that I haven't liked my own review yet. But at the same time, it's going to do the same request. And it's also going to see in another part of the system that I haven't liked my own review yet at that point. So it's going to do both requests at the same time. And it's going to like my review twice. thus allowing me to use my limited resource that I have, my likes. I'm, I'm able to use them more than once. So that's pretty much what a race condition entails. Um, now you guys know how you can trigger them if you can click on your UI elements more than once. So it's really not that hard. You don't have to have specific programming knowledge. Of course, if you want to know more and if you want to go really deep, deep into this, you will have to know a little bit more about race conditions, a little bit more about caching systems and how all of this works. But this is one of the ways you guys can trigger it. I hope you've got, you guys found this informative. If you did, you know what to do. And I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye.